friends, I'm Albert Einstein. I'm born in Rome, Germany on 14th March 1879. My family was Jewish but not very religious. I was very interested in Judaism. I didn't speak until two years. When I was four years old, my father gave me a magnetic compass. I tried my best to understand why the ladies always wanted to know. In this way, I became very interested in maths and science. My ideas explored the world of science. I began my education at Lodipot, Germany and later we moved to Italy and Ireland. I continued my education at Switzerland. I entered the form to be trained as a teacher in physics and mathematics in 1897. I obtained my doctor's degree in 1905 and I obtained my diploma in 1906. I entered the form to be trained as a, as a doctor in Swiss patient's office. In 1921, I got my Nobel Prize in physics for the photoelectric effect. I also wrote a book named A Theory of Relationship. I got a gold medal from, from the Asymmetric Royal Society in 1929, another gold medal in 1932 from the Physical Society of Germany. I want to present a quote. Life is like riding bicycle. To keep your balance, you must move. Thank you. Hello friends, I am Chandrasekhar Venkata Raman and I was born in Tiruchir Palli on 7th November 1888. I grew at the atmosphere of music, science, literature and Sanskrit because my father, who was a scholar in physics and mathematics, loved music. I stood first in every class and was considered a genius. I joined Residency College where I chose physics, the study of matter, energy as the main subject of mind. Love of science, enthusiasm for work, and curiosity to learn new things were natural to me. Color, sound, light held a special fascination for me. By the time I was 18, my writing and new subjects were published in international academics of journals. At the age of 19, I was appointed as the Assistant Account General in the Finance Department of Kolkata. But I noticed that because <coughs> of this, I could not get time to do research in my laboratory. So, after some time, I again joined Presidency College, but not like a student, like a professor of physics. Here, I can use the laboratory for doing research. It is here that I made my award-winning research and made my country very proud of it. It is here. In 1929, I was considered knighthood by the British government. In 1930, the time has came <coughs> when I was awarded Nobel Prize on my research on behavior of light in the field of physics. This research was thereafter known as Raman Effect. I found the Raman Research Institute at Bangalore. Thank you. Hello friends, I am Niels Bohr. My full name is Niels Hendrik David Bohr. I am a Danish physicist. I was born on 7th October 1885. I am the second child of Christian Bohr, a physiology professor at the University of Copenhagen. I have an elder brother and a younger sister. In my early ages, I was a passionate footballer as well, as I played many matches for the academic football club. I did my education from Game Horn Latin School starting when I was seven. I enrolled as an undergraduate in 1903 in the University of Copenhagen. In 1910, I married to Margaret Nordland. I have made many foundational contributions for understanding the atomic structure and the quantum theory. I have introduced the Bohr atomic structure in which I proposed that the energy levels of electrons are discrete and, they and that they revolve around the nucleus but can jump from one energy level to another. And do you know friends? Once a word reached me that I was about to be arrested by the Germans, so I fled to Sweden. From there, I fled to Britain. There, I joined the British Tube Alloys Nuclear Weapon Project and I was also a part of Manhattan Project of the British Mission. I have won many prizes like Atoms for Peace Award in 1957, Sooning Prize in the same year and many more. At last, I would like to tell you that I feel very honorable to contribute in the field of theoretical physics 
which was my childhood aim. Thank you and have a cheerful day ahead. Hi, I am Guglielmo Mappa. I was born in an Italian nobility as Guglielmo Giovanni Maria Mappa on 25th April 1874 in Bologna. I was born to Joseph Martini and Annie James. I had a brother Alfonso and also stepbrother Luigi. I never attempted school or went for higher formal education. Instead, I studied chemistry, maths, and physics from a series of tutors hired by my parents. In winter, my parents hired additional tutors who taught me the physics, chemistry, and maths as we have to leave Blogna for warmer climate of Florence. I noted an important mentor who was Vincenzo Rosa. He taught me the basic physical phenomena and also the new laws of electricity. I, at the age of 18, became acquainted with the University of Bologna as uh, I met a physicist, Augusto Regan, who had done research work on Henry's Hertz work and he allowed me to attend the lectures of the university and also to use the laboratories and libraries of the university. From here, I had interest in science and electricity. I, in 1890, got an idea of wireless telegraph. It was not a new idea. Many investigators and inventors were trying to find out the ways of uh, wireless telegraph, but nobody was successful. In 1895, I discovered the, I proved the flexibility of radio communication and made a radio. I was I won the Nobel Prize in 1909 for my this contribution to the world of science. I am feeling very proud and happy for my this contribution to the world of science. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here as a representative of Barbara McClintock. I was born on June 16, 1902 in Hartford, Connecticut, USA. Earlier, my name was Kristen Alina McClintock. But my parents soon started calling me Barbara. They considered this name as a perfect match to my forthright character. They came to believe that Elena was too feminine and gentle name for their daughter. My father, Thomas Henry Clinton, was a family doctor and my mother, Sarah Handy, came from an upper class Boston family, was a housewife, an artist and a poet. I was the third of my four siblings. Later, I made a number of discoveries in genetics. I took my first course of genetics in 1921. My ability in this field soon caught the attention of my teacher, Claude Hutchison. He recommended me that I should jump straight to the graduate level. After receiving a MS in agriculture, I decided to pursue my studies in graduate school. My both degrees, MS and PhD, involved investigation of plant genetics. This would be the focus of for more or less than of my life. Later, in 1983, <coughs> I won the prestigious Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine. So friends, one thing I would like to suggest to you all <coughs> that if you know you're on the right track, if you have this inner knowledge, then nobody can let you down. Don't worry, let them say whatever they want to. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Anashi Adam of Class 7D and I'm here as a role model of Irene Juliet Curie. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, correctly said, correctly guessed, the daughter of the famous Marie Curie and Pierre Curie. <coughs> was born in France in 1897 and was the first two daughters of my parents. But I lost my father in early 1906 due to a horse-drawn wagon incident. My mom was left all alone to raise us. Education was important for my mom. So my education began at the school near the observatory. This school was chosen because it had more challenging circle than the school near our home. 
and in 1906 it was obvious that I was talented that I was talented in mathematics and my mom chose that instead of public school my mom gathered a group of eminent French scholars and the most prominent ladies and gentlemen the most prominent French physicist Lengoven to form the cooperative which included the private gathering of nine students each contributed to educate one another's child in their respective homes. After that, I was sent to Poland to spend summer vacations with my aunt Bronya. Till the date I was 13 and till the date I was 13 and my education was so rigorous that I still had trigonometry and German lesson every day of the break. After that, I returned back to Central Paris to complete my high school and bachelorate until 1916. Afterwards, I finally joined a course of nursing and worked as a nurse radiographer to assist my mother, Mother Marie Curie. After a few months, I was left all alone in the radiological faculty in Belgium. And I taught doctors how to locate sharpener in the bodies and how to repair equipment. After that, I finally became the doctor of science in 1925 and was also honored with Nobel Prize in Chemistry for, for artificial radioactivity with Frederick Jollet Curie, Officer of Legion of Honor and gold medal for meritorious work with Frederick Jollet, Jollet Curie in science. So friends, I would like to conclude that a story has no beginning or no end. A story has no beginning or no end. Arbitrarily, one chooses that moment of experience from which to look back or from which to look ahead. Thank you. Hi, Joseph John Thompson was born on December 18, 1856 in Manchester, England, UK. I took science to new height with my discovery of the atom, the subatomic particle. I also found the first evidence of the stable element that can exist as isotopes and invented one of the most powerful tools in analytical chemistry, the mass spectrometer. My father, Joseph James Thompson, ran a specialized bookshop that had been in my family for three generations. At age 14, I began I became the student of Owens College. There, I studied mathematics, physics, engineering. When I was a research student, nobody had a clear picture of how an item might look. But I decided that I would imagine it as a smoke ring. I published in 1893 at age 36. I published notes on recent researches in electricity and magnetism building on the Maxwell work. This book was sometimes described as Maxwell Equation Volume 3. In 1897, at age 40, I carried out a famous experiment with cat hood ray tube. I allowed my cat hood ray tube to travel through air rather than the usual vacuum. I was surprised at how far it could travel to estimate the mass of cat hood ray particle and discover whether its charge was positive or negative. I decided to deflect it and see the direction of the deflection and how far they were pulled. I received Nobel Prize in 1906 in recognition of the great merit of my experimental and theoretical and experimental and theoretical experiment conduction on the electricity by gases. I would like to end my I would like to rest my words by giving you a beautiful thought. A scientific theory is a tool, not a creed. Thank you. I am Camilo Golgi, an Italian biologist and cytologist. I was born in Cortino, a small town in the province of Brescia, where my father was working as the district medical officer. I studied in the University of Pavia and I graduated in medicine in 1865 under the guidance of the <coughs> professor Cesare Lombroso. Then I, I learned the histological techniques under the direction of the psychiatrist Guilio Bizzozero. Then I moved to Abiati Grasso and became the chief of a hospital for chronic diseases where I began to get interest in the field of malaria. 
uh, and about their patients. Then, while in Arietti Grasso, I demonstrated the branching of accents, which was a breakthrough for nervous tissue research. Then, I even, uh, I even in a rudimentary laboratory, I even discovered the Golgi tendon organ, the Golgi mass, etc. Then, I went back to uh, Pavia and became the professor for histology and general pathology and invented the internal reticular apparatus or also known as the Golgi apparatus which might be familiar to you. Thank you. Hello friends, I'm Dorothy Mary Krulfut Hodgin. I'm a forest, one of our C. I'm a British chemist to determine the complicated structure of vitamin B12 for which I won Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1964. I am a woman of great intellect and an immense passion for science. I have advanced the extracultural technique, which was the key of studying and understanding three-dimensional structures of biochemical compounds. I was born to John Winter Crawford and Grace Nadeuth Crawford on May 12, 1910 in Cairo, Egypt. My father, John, worked for the Egyptian Education Services as a school inspector and later he moved to Sudan where he became Director of Antiquities and Director of Education. My mother, Grace Nadeuth Crawford, was a botanist and took time illustrate the different flora found in Sudan. I got education from Sir John Lemon Grammar School. When, uh, when I was 15, I was intrigued at the thought of being able to study atoms and molecules through x-rays. My interest in chemistry started when I was just 10 years old. In 1937, I married Thomas Hodgkin, an historian son. I was president of the Pagos National Conference of Science and World Affairs from 1977 to 1986. My name is also honored to several council offices and buildings and educational institutions. At last, I would like to say that I was captured for life by chemistry and crystals. Thank you, MJ. Hi, I am Werner Karl Heffenberg. I was born on 5th December 1901 in Würzburg, Germany. And I am a German physicist. I won the Nobel Prize in Physics for my work in quantum mechanics. As my name was all on the stage, I was really surprised and went in my own world. After four to five seconds later, my name again was called on the stage. Then I get to know that Hessenburg, it's not a dream, it's true. Wake up and step forward. I stood up and walked confidently onto the stage and received my prize. I felt very proud, which I cannot forget in my life forever and ever. I discovered the Hessenburg uncertainty principle, which shows there is a limit on how well some things can be measured. I also made important contribution to the theories of hydrodynamic of turbulent flows, ferromagnetism, subatomic particles, atomic nucleus, cosmic rays, etc. I was instrumental in planning the first West Sherman reactor at Karlsruhe together with a research in Munich in 1947. Considerable controversy surrounds my work on atomic research during World War II. My father, August Hessenberg, a, mo a modern Greek literature and ancient Greek philology, was a teacher at gymnasium and lecturer at the University of Würzburg. My mother, Niena Wettin, was the daughter of the reactor of the Elite Maximilians of Gymnasium. In 1910, my father inter uh, became the professor of the University of Munich, and I entered the Maximilians. Now my journey started that, quote, science does not easily explain or define nature. It's something interplay between nature and ourselves that inspires me a lot for my achievement. Thank you, Anche. I am Farwan Ross and I was born on 13th May, 1857 in Almora, India. As a young child, I was brought up in England by my uncle and aunt. At school, I enjoyed learning literature, music and mathematics and was particularly talented and fond of printing. I always wished to pursue a career in writing, but my father insisted me to join London's St. Bartholomew's Hospital and Medical College. Then I became a British medical doctor who received the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 1902 for my work on transmission of malaria, becoming the first British Nobel laureate and the first born outside Europe. My book, 
the prevention of malaria in particular is considered to be the most important in the history of literature. My discovery of the malarial parasite proved that malaria was transmitted by mosquitoes. I was a polymath, writing a number of poems, published several novels and composed many songs. I worked in the Indian Medical Services for 25 years. After resigning from the Indian Medical Services, I joined the Faculty of Leopold School of Tropical Medicine for the next 10 years. I always believe that the world requires at least 10 years to understand a new idea, however important or simple it may be. Today, my contribution to the field of medicine is very valuable. Today, hundreds of thousands of people are saved because of my research on how to combat against the disease malaria. Till my very last breath, I contributed for the welfare of the people of the world. Thank you. Hello, I'm Mary Curie. I was born on 7 November 1867, Warsaw, Poland. My full name is Mary Salomia Skolodowska. My father was a professor and mother was a teacher. Because of taking birth in a well-educated family, I was excellent in studies. But at that time when I was born, political environment of Poland was very poor. My father was a social person, so he was against sorghum of people. That's why he was fired from his job and after that he had to do a job for a very less salary. My mother was died when I was only 10 years and <coughs> suffered with a lot of economical problem. I wanted to study but at that time people didn't support girls education. After my schooling I work as a I work in my <coughs> home as a tuition teacher and I took admission in Flying University. Flying University was an educational enterprises that operated in Warsaw for those people who wanted to study but were not allowed due to social reasons. After completing my studies, I worked as a teacher for five years and after saving some money, I came to Paris and there I completed my master degree of physics. After that, I, in my free time, I studied physics, chemistry and maths and I wanted to a lab to do research. And then a physiologist of France, Pierre Curie, given me some space in his lab. Because we don't work together, we get married in year 1895. And I was the mother of two cute girls, Irene Julia Curie and Eve Curie. We both researched together and invented radioactivity. For this invention, we got Nobel Prize in year 1903. In my life, everything was going very well. But the shocking time was when then my husband died in an accident. The accident had jerked me off but I handled myself and controlled the situation and then I continued my research. After that in year 1911 I got Nobel Prize in Chemistry for Radium Purification and Inventing Polonium. Thank you and have a nice day. Hello, I am Nona Strickland. I was born on 27th May 1959 in the Oriental Canada. I was so lucky that my father was an English teacher and my mother was an electrical engineer. They were only who supported me a lot. In higher classes, I was very good in math, chemistry as well as physics as they were my favorite subjects. In 1981, I graduated from Math Master University with a Bachelor of Engineering degree. Later on, I was uh, awarded with the Fellow of Optical Society in 2008 for my brilliant work. Later, I was awarded with uh, Nobel Prize for Cheap Pulse Amplification as I have invented. It is a technique of creating ultra short ex yet extremely high energy. The short form is CPA. Thank you. I am Al Gapit, was born on June 28, 1906 in Kotovis, Germany. In 1910, my father went as professor of pediatric to Gottingen, where I spent most of my lifetime until marriage. I went to private and public schools and had a great fortune to have very good teachers. In, in, the, spinning of 19, in the spinning of 1924, I went to, I went to, I enrolled the university at, with the intention of becoming a mathematician. But soon I found myself more attracted towards physics. This was time when quantum mechanics was young and new. During 1960, I was appointed as a position of a professor of physics at the University of San California, San Diego. This was time, but this uh, this was time at California, uh, Chicago, where I developed a mathematical model, mathematical uh, model with Edward Tell. I conducted inquiries about sources and elements 
and notice the repetition of seven magical number as I name them two eight two eight twenty twenty eight fifty eighty two and one practices on the basic of this I propose that in nucleus neutrons and protons are arranged in a series of nucleus like the layer of onion. For this I got a nickname the onion mandola from Wolfgang Pauli. I received a Nobel Prize in 1963 for physics. I was the second woman to have Nobel Prize. The nuclear cells were important because of simplicity and tight binding of the cells. At last, I will present a thought before you. Winning the winning the prize wasn't half as exciting as doing the work. Thank you. Hello friends, I am Chitra Shekhar Vikanta Raman, who is an Indian physicist. I was born on 7th November 1888 in the city of Trichipoli, Madras Presidency, British India. From a very young age, I was interested in physics and maths. As I grew older, I started borrowing mathematics and physics books from my father's college library. In 1903, I set up for the great city of Madras to live in a hostel and begin a bachelor's degree at the Presidency College. I was enormously enthusiastic about science. On vacations, I would demonstrate experiments to my younger brother and sister. In 1904, I have completed my bachelor's degree winning medals in physics and English. And I remained at the Presidency College for my master's degree. In 1906, I have, com I have completed my master's degree with the highest restriction. I have carried out the groundbreaking work of the light scattering which earned me the 1930 Nobel Prize and I got Bharat Ratna for that. Thank you.